In this video, I'm going to share one simple project that I use to break through creative block when I'm stuck. I call it creative blockheads. Creative blockheads are simply this, and I'll explain how you can tweak this idea to meet your own needs. You take one memory of something you loved as a kid, something that you could spend hours doing and not getting bored, and you use that memory as a jumping off point to make something creative. Here's the catch. In order that your mind doesn't go crazy with ideas and leave you kind of spun out and not doing anything, you need to put a limit on your creativity. Contrary to popular opinion, limits do not necessarily stifle creativity. With the correct limitations, a designer gets to become a problem solver. Here's my limit to my creative blockheads. One, I'm creating a character design. Two, the character will be based off of a childhood memory, a thing that I loved as a kid. Three, the design must have a squared off gigantic head. Four, it has to read well or be easily seen at a small scale or at a distance. Five, no, there's no five, that's it. Just those few rules are my limitations or constraints. And those constraints are gonna serve me well because they switch my brain from a mode that says, I can do everything imaginable, to I have a problem to solve. Okay, so here's a list that you can tailor to your own needs. One, think of a memory from childhood. It could be a movie, toy, game, etc., that you could engage with for hours at the time. Two, choose what type of creative thing you're going to make. Is it a wallpaper design or a shoe? Are you going to make a short story? Three, Give your creative project a mission. Mine was that it had to read well at a distance. Yours could be just as simple, or it could be a more lofty goal. That's really it. After a big freelance assignment, I can get hit by creative block pretty easily. And I've used this simple project to make the transition back to creativity a quick one. It's not about how often you struggle with creative block, it's about how quickly you can get back to having fun making stuff. If you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe to this YouTube channel. I'm making content every week and I have the goal of mixing YouTube into my, I don't know, crock pot of income, but I can only do that if this channel gets monetized. For that, I need a thousand followers and 4,000 hours of watch time. It sounds daunting, but just like creative block, I'm sure that there is a way through it. Thanks for watching.